Well, Chris, thousands of people are in the city tonight for the Lady Gaga concert at Fenway Park. Without the orange lines, some are coming up with creative ways to get home after the show. WBZ's Mike Sullivan continues our live team coverage tonight. Mike? Hey, it's certainly going to be a confusing night for a lot of people in the city here this afternoon. Back Bay was packed with Patriots fans heading down to Foxborough. They will be coming back potentially to here. And as you mentioned, those fans of Lady Gaga over at Fenway, they could be heading back here, all of them, looking for the best way to get home. Truer words. Let's make some, some mischief here. May have never been spoken. A lot of people from the suburbs, they have back in their head, this is my route, and they don't really know alternate routes. Christian Mady is a pedal cab driver. We can sneak through places like this. Places the Orange Line shuttle buses will now occupy during the month long shutdown. The sworn enemy of a pedicab is a bus because <laughs> we, we share the lanes and the rules of the road. A pedicab sort of operates like a passenger vehicle. Soon they may share fares as well. We're getting a lot of requests, and then people realize we're too expensive, and they're like, you just see the glaze go over their face of like, why there's there no tea. You can tab tonight's Lady Gaga concert on the list of desired destinations. They close the streets around Fenway Park with the concert starting an hour and a half before the Orange Line cutoff. We took the train in. The train was great. The bus back might be an issue, but we'll figure it out when we get there. Uber in, Uber out, a train in, Uber out. I don't know. Uber's going to be very busy. It's why Michelle Auditore purposely avoided the train altogether. We opted to drive in, which was just as horrifying, but it was the only option. Besides testing the shuttles this evening or digging into your wallet for a ride home. We will creep into, you know, the Cambridge and the Charlestown if you throw a lot of money at us. Well, in just a few minutes, we're going to try and get on one of these shuttle buses to see what that's like for riders and to talk to them about what that experience is going to be. Live in Back Bay, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.